Hello, this is Catherine from TrackGene, and this is a short video to demonstrate adding family tree data to the pedigree. So once I've added the skeleton of my pedigree to TrackGene, I can see my pedigree there. I can reduce the size of the pedigree so that I can see it all on one screen. So reducing that down using my magnifier at the bottom left. Once I've done that, it's important to be able to see the UPNs on the individual because that will be how I apply the data. So I can go to my layout option and just increase the font size uh, to be able to read that data on my individuals. At this point, I can then open the data entry grid and I'll start with selecting the person uh, data entry grid to add the person's names to the system and I can open the data entry grid from there. Now this will work best if you're working on dual screens, uh, but for today we'll just move the data entry grid to the bottom corner of the screen here, and I just need to minimise my selection grid in the background. So I can see the UPNs on my individuals and see how they apply to the individuals in the data entry grid. So UPN number two uh, is the father of my proband, and so I can go ahead and add the data as required. I can see UPN number three is mum and you know, add the data that we have on those individuals. When I save the changes to the data entry grid, these appear immediately on the pedigree screen. And so obviously I can go through adding as much data as I have available on the individuals for the screen. I can do the data entry grid for diagnostic information as well. So again, I'll open my data entry grid screen and from my selection, I'll go to diagnoses and we'll just unselect person. So we'll open the diagnoses uh, for this pedigree. And so I'm able to either click on the row to click on the person to insert a row and I can add uh, diagnoses as required. So if this individual, so if father had a prostate cancer, I can enter the details um, of that. I'm also able to copy and paste rows and so if we've got the same diagnosis on different family members, I can copy the row from an existing person and paste that uh, onto another person and obviously just updating the diagnosis age as required. And again, once I've saved changes, those immediately appear on the pedigree and my symbols are applied. So I can close those down and see that new information on the pedigree.